Welcome to the vlog and today I am headed to the Boardwalk Resort at Walt Disney World to check in for my first resort out of all the resorts that we're going to be staying in. We're resort hopping to a number of resorts and this is our starting point. I loved this one. It was so beautiful with lots to see. Welcome to Boardwalk Resort at Disney World. Our room number was 1320 and we had a standard room that sleeps five. Welcome to Boardwalk Resort at Walt Disney World. So I just got here from the airport and I just checked into our first resort of the trip. So we are resort hopping on this trip. So I'm excited to show you a number of resorts, but our first resort is Boardwalk and this is also a DVC member resort as well. So we're over in the regular rooms with the two queen size beds. I absolutely love all the decor. Look how cute. <laughs> it's a nice size room. It's got a ton of storage. So we are actually here for one night before we move to our next resort. There's tons of storage space here. If you are gonna be here for a longer time period, down here there is the refrigerator chiller. Really big closet area over here to the side so you can stow all of your stuff away. And I just got in from the airport, so I'm getting ready to change clothes. And we are gonna head over to Epcot for a little bit, but I wanted to share the room before we move all of our stuff in. Really nice big bathroom with a glass shower. And I think the theming at this resort is just so comfortable. It helps you feel like you're right at home. I love the turquoises, but there's so many great little touches. Look at this chair over here. It's got the hidden Mickey right in the middle. So cute. I want these pillows too. The day bed in the room can be extra sleeping space for a fifth person. And I loved all the details of Boardwalk. The photos and the frames were really nice. There was this Mickey lampshade that I thought was adorable. And even the curtains had a great design. There's character portraits all over those. Such a cute room. So we are here for one night before we move over to our next resort, but this is gonna be a really awesome spot for our first day. So some of my favorite parts about staying in the deluxe resorts is you have lots of storage space. There's a really big closet space here with tons of hanging space. And then some more shelves over here along with the safe where you can put some valuables that you want to stow away in there. Then there's the divided shower and bathroom area. I love that because somebody can be taking a shower while another person is over here getting ready. There's also the double sinks, so that's really nice when you have multiple people that need to get ready. And it's just a really nice space to be able to spread out. There's also some storage areas down here at the bottom and also that nice railing up at the top where you can stow things away. So tons and tons of storage space. There's more drawers and everything over here. Lots and lots of storage. And then there's even this dresser where if you wanted to put things in the dresser, you definitely could. So you're not short on storage space at all. You can sleep five in this room because there's two beds here that can sleep two and a day bed that could sleep one more person. But then one really nice thing, I had this at the Contemporary too, is there is a walkout patio at this room so you can just go right outside and enjoy a cup of coffee right on your patio and enjoy the garden view. So we have this lovely little courtyard area that's is nice and quiet and this is a great space just to sit out here and get some work done. It's nice and steamy today. It's about 75 degrees, but that is definitely an improvement over where I just flew from. It is like negative 10 degrees back in Minnesota. And I always travel with my travel steamer, but actually looking over here in the closet, there is a steamer already in this closet. So if you're gonna be at Boardwalk the whole time, you don't even have to pack your travel steamer because they already have one for you in here. So we are getting ready to head over to Epcot and we're just gonna walk over there from the Boardwalk because it's so nice and close. I have this geometric print dress that I'm gonna wear. I thought this was just very like artistic with the print all over it. I thought it looked like Festival of the Arts. And then these fun ears, I got these off of Etsy. They have Spaceship Earth and then this really cute bow. I've worn these to Flower and Garden before, um, but I just put those with this outfit because I felt like it went with the geometric print. And we are getting ready to go head out and get something to eat. 
Then after we go to Epcot, we have a reservation tonight at Storybook Dining, and I'm excited to introduce you to my friend that I am touring with. We met at Flock here at Walt Disney World last year in 2023, and we are back to have all of the Festival of Arts fun. So here's Donna from Hey Donna and Planning for Wonderland. Hello. She's going to be joining me in all the vlogs, and we're going to be meeting up with some other bloggers, what, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So yep. it is a jam-packed week of <laughs> Disney fun. After grabbing our park bags, which I'm going to share that in a separate video, we are headed out on the boardwalk and I absolutely love the view. It is so calming and relaxing. It looks across to the Yacht Club and the Beach Club. We absolutely love staying there as a family as well. Here on the boardwalk side, there's lots of great restaurants like the Boardwalk Deli. There's also the Chitura Al Forno, which is a really great Italian restaurant and there's also the boat service that goes to Hollywood Studios and Epcot as well as the other resorts that are in this area. So just a really neat location to stay at and I enjoyed being on this side of the lake and kind of seeing what it felt like staying over at the boardwalk. This area is so convenient because it has the boats that go back and forth to Epcot and we love staying at Beach Club when we were here as a family. It's just a really nice laid back vibe and it feels very much like a vacation when you're here. It's nice being so close to Epcot. So I've got the boats that go back and forth between Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Swan and Dolphin, the Boardwalk, and Beach and Yacht Club. And it's just a short walk over the bridge to get to Epcot. And the Skyliner is closed on this trip. So we're actually here the whole dates that the Skyliner's closed and we're staying at Skyliner Resorts too. But it's really okay that I enjoy using the Skyliner, but it's kind of neat to be able to stay at the resorts the way that it used to be and get back and forth. So we're going to be at Boardwalk and the next resort we're at is Art of Animation. So it's going to be interesting to see what a difference it is not having the Skyliner there after being used to having it in that area. Thank you. Perfect, have a good day. Thank you. So we started in France. We had to get a little chocolate cake dessert to try. And then we also got the brie. Look at that. So this is our first festival food of the trip. I'm at a trash can mm -hmm. Disney photo. Wow, look at that. It is filled with chocolate. Okay, this is delightful. It's like a brownie, because nothing says lunch like brownie, but it's really, really good. So the first stand was in France, and now we're right in between France and Morocco, and there's this cute Encanto stand, and it has the best looking cheesecake. We're gonna go grab some. And we got two more appetizers to try. So this is a cheesecake. This is the passion fruit filled mango cheesecake. So it's got a coconut pineapple cake inside there and there's a dragon fruit jelly. We love dragon fruit. So that is gonna be really, really good. And a dragon fruit strawberry sauce. I can't wait to try this. And in addition to the cheesecake, we also got the empanada and this has an aioli sauce all over it. So we're gonna tear into both of these and test these out. Ooh, look at the inside. I can't wait to try that. All right, here we go. Dink, dink. Uh oh, oh. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So good. This has got a little bit of spice to it, but I love spiciness. It's very, very good. There's so many cute pieces of artwork, and there's all kinds of different print sizes. I'm going to get some prints from my office. Dan would love these for over our couch. The Soka one. And I definitely want to get the mochi. It's really cute. So we got the mochi and then also the steamed bun to try with the blueberry cocktail. Love mochi, it's so good. <laughs> they have like mochi ice cream. I get it at Target it's like $1 too. Is so good. Oh. oh, it's one dollar. Well, it's like one. It's about that like little bit. Mmm, it's good. 
We have all kinds of these art additions around. We had a fun time going from country to country and trying out different food from the festival stands. This was kind of our appetizer lunch that we had. Oh, the rosé. Then we also had to make a quick stop in Mexico to see the new tequila stand. We love these. They're so pretty. Yeah. I mean, it went quick. It wasn't like a really <laughs> Isabella and I got some of these on one of our last trips. Oh, they have a Dante dog that you can color in. It's really cute. So Donna's going to try the tequila at La Cava. And then can I also get a black time tasting our way around the world showcase we are getting ready to head up to the front of Epcot and we have a storybook dining over at Wilderness Lodge tonight this is the one where Snow White and a few of the doors and the Evil Queen are over there it's a really great meal so I'm excited about doing this one again but before we leave this is also the first time that I've been here and I think that Don has been here since the new areas opened up so the Communicore, Communicore Plaza? I always say everything wrong in the gardens. We're gonna go see the new area on our way out. <laughs> so this was all behind walls last time I was here. So that doesn't light up back there. I do miss the swirling ground. When you would walk on it and like the lights would light up on the ground. I did really sparkly like that. It is sparkly. It is sparkly. This definitely frames out Spaceship Earth a lot better than what was here before. I mean, I really love the fountains just because that's what I had the whole time growing up. But this really does like, it's like a frame around Spaceship Earth. But the ground over here lights up. It's more modern. It's definitely more modern than Sparkles. So we just ended up here at the perfect time to see the figment show on Spaceship Earth. We're going to walk through this new area for the first time. I haven't even seen sneak peeks so this is the first time that i'm seeing this i love all the lighting on the trees and then up here is the new statue together yeah let's get a picture together okay for all the 90s kids they do have some fun pavement areas <laughs> where you can interact it's nice and open. Honestly, it's just great to not see walls. To be completely honest, I'm so used to seeing walls in this area. It's just nice that it's not walls. I love all the seating areas over here is much needed. So we are stopping for a little break before we do one more thing and we have to head out for dinner. So I got some Powerade. <laughs> to kind of rehydrate since today was a travel day. So we're gonna only have like a 15 minute wait, so we may do that real quick before we head over to Wilderness Lodge. We headed over to Soren, which is actually one of my and Donna's favorite rides, and they're actually still showing Soren over California, so it's a different show than the regular show right now. <laughs> If you haven't seen Soren over California, here's a little sneak peek for you. The smells, which you cannot smell right now, are what absolutely set this one apart. The forest smell here is amazing, but I really enjoy all the different scenes from Soren over California, and it's actually really amazing. This is a great display of all the different terrains and all the different variety of views that there are in California. It really is a really diverse state. The 
reflection of Spaceship Earth at night is so amazing and we happened to capture this at just the right moment and the monorail came right around the corner. This is one of my favorite spots just to stand and take in all the sights when you're at Epcot and especially at night. It is so pretty. I just love seeing the monorail go past Spaceship Earth. I love it here at night. It's so pretty. Then we were in for a little surprise when we were in the journey of water section at Epcot on our way out. We actually had a bit of our own journey of water. Oh, yeah. It's starting to rain. Yeah, it's like it's and now it's like actual raining, rain raining. <laughs> so we're getting our raincoats out. Park Big Essential raincoat, because it's Florida. Do we want to just do that while we're under the light? So we are getting ready to wrap up our evening here at Epcot. We got to ride soaring on our way out and we are gonna head over to Wilderness Lodge for a dinner at Storybook Dining. So check out that video and I will have more Disney vlogs from Festival of the Arts. We're meeting a number of bloggers here tomorrow and we're looking forward to having an awesome time. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.